right, so the two opening batsmen for India are there. Sachin Tendulkar and Virinda Sewag are uh, out in the middle. They're ready to go. Of course, uh, they've got to get 274 to win to India. Pakistan won the toss early today, played absolutely right, superbly. With Saeed Amwa, the top scorer, he got a magnificent 101. And we're just about set for this all-important game. It has been a thriller minute so far. It is a crucial game, obviously, for both teams. Sachin is an outstanding player. 309 matches he's played now. Almost 12,000 runs in one international cricket. An average of 44.3. And Vrinda Sawak, his partner, 63 games. Getting close to those 2,000 one international runs, and that average is just a shade under 35. His strike rate is just under 100. And the great Wazim Akram is about uh, to start proceedings from the West Lane end. And a little bit of swing coming back in towards Sachin Tendorka. He'll be the key wicket, of course. As Akram has an outstanding career, picked up his 500th one-day international uh, wicket in this tournament. The economy rate is outstanding as well at 3.89, best of 5.15. So he's about to start his uh, second delivery in the commentary box. It's now going to be Ramiz Raja, but first of all, Ravi Shastri. Thank you, Mike. Uh, this is what the crowd has uh, come out here to see. A champion fast bowler against an outstanding batsman. Why? Pakistan have posted a big score on the board, and the target, 274, is not going to be an easy one. The Indians will have to bat really well if they have to entertain any thoughts of uh, coming close to that score. And this is how it all happened. Saeed Anwar, the star today, 20th 100 in One Day Internationals, his third 100 in World Cup cricket. Tendulkar on his way, in spanking fashion. It wasn't all that bad a delivery, but the timing was exquisite. Well, the Indian flags are out. They didn't have a lot of cheer about when Pakistani batsmen were uh, batting but this is a lovely way to get off the mark a little bit of width didn't cut at that one it was a back foot push but important importantly the placement was uh, absolutely spot on great timing from uh, the little master he's away yes, Akram fractionally short and Tendulkar pouncing on it the length will change get the single on the on side this time there is some swing there for Wasim Akram is what the Pakistanis achieved. Saydan were 101, fantastic knock at the top of the order. They got to 273 for seven. Strong finish from Rashid Latif and Wasim Akram making sure that they got uh, beyond 270. And uh, Zaheer and uh, Jagwal Sirinath both were impressive. Two for Rashish Nera, but we went for plenty. None for 51 for uh, Anil Kumble. A little disappointing. And the Sevag is exposed to Wasim Akram. It's not been an easy time for the bowlers on the surface. Ashish Nehra, 6 for 23 the other day against England, went for 74 today. So it's a game uh, that can bring you down to earth very quickly. 2, to 40, two for 46 for Zahir Khan. He was the pick of the bowlers. Gets that away. It's gone away fine and into the boundary. Nine of the first over. India nine for no loss at the moment. And Ramiz, you can already see that this is a, such a good pitch for batting. And really, from the bowler's point of view, there's hardly any margin for error. That's right. I think Vasim Akram uh, bending his back a little. And uh, when he was going back after bowling, the first uh, or the second delivery uh, just suggested himself. The expressions uh, they are suggesting that just take it easy, just relax, don't overdo it. But uh, fantastic here that atmosphere and India off to a bright start. Nine without a wicket. And strong batting lineup for the Indians as well. Shoy Bakhtar will share the attack with Wasim Akram, and already there are two substitutes on on the field for Pakistan. Shoaib Akhtar uh, will share the new ball. The wicketkeeper is Tofik Omar. Rashid Latif is not out there. 
Tofik Omar at the moment is keeping wickets. And uh, no Saeed Anwar, Ramiz. Well, it's, it was expected that Saeed Anwar would be a hard push to come and feel because he was struggling when he was out there as a batsman. It's, it's a little surprising to see Rashid Latif not out there. Maybe uh, nursing his head injury. Yes, he got a nasty one on the head and uh, he must be under observation at the moment. Now, Pakistan must not do this. Shreya Bakhtar has uh, got to be uh, in a position to bowl as quickly as possible. That first delivery was a nothing. Delivery down the leg side given as wide. Pakistan must see that uh, they get the Indians under pressure with this new ball. Attacking with two slips. So I think they have to attack when the ball is hard and new. That's their best chance of picking up early wickets and putting pressure on the middle order. Where goes Akhtar. 150k, that second delivery. So he's quickly into his stride. Sachin's quality is uh, his adjustment factor. He wouldn't really be uh, taking that front foot stride to Shweb Akhtar because he needs to adjust to the height and bounce and pace of the bowler. Very, very clever customer, Sachin. That is the reason why he's a star. Almost 12,000 runs, 3,400, it's just remarkable. And over all that period, a strike rate of 86.4. Another pacey delivery, good running. These two have a good understanding when it comes to running between the wickets. Both players of similar height. Uh, this is the first time I think uh, Virendra Seva will be exposed uh, to Shoei Bakhtar. Another explosive player. They should have a plan against Virendra Seva. Now, I've noticed that he doesn't like the ball that's uh, rearing up on that ribcage area. But so far, uh, there's no indication that uh, they'd be attacking him in that corridor. No one close to the bat on the onside. playing loosely at that one outside the off stump both the batsmen they'll be feeling the tension at the moment no real footwork there well it definitely uh, will test within the Sevak's nerve and temperament can't say a great deal about uh, the technique because he's got a pretty handy technique to uh, play those attacking shots he can be uh, very explosive very entertaining but this crowd, the pressure from uh, the Pakistani fast bowlers really will uh, test his nerves out there. Tempted Yorker down the leg side. Should be a wide. So two runs added to the score. We're in the Sevag. He's had a quiet start to the World Cup at the moment. He's got off to starts, but really hasn't kicked on to make the big score. You can see there's 6, 4, 36, 24, 23. What India would expect for him is to convert those 20s and 30s into big scores. Good opportunity today because uh, the conditions are good for batting. Outfield will be a lot faster now than it was in the morning. And he goes after that one and it's 6. Just using the pace of the bowler. But there was no half measures there from Tendulkar. Well, what a hit. Shreya Bakhtar fast and furious, allowing uh, the batsman that with and Sachin Tendulkar has cashed in on it big time. And that's gone away in a flash. That is cricket at its best. Being made to stretch and uh, really heads off for middling that wide one from Shreya. Well, clearly shows on the surface you may be the fastest bowler in the world, but if you don't get it right against the top player, you'll get tap. Now, what will be the reply? <laughs> Superb shot. This is tremendous batting already. A six to start off the over, and now a lovely wristy flick to get the boundary. Well, this is a lovely shot, working the ball away from middle stump, but he's so good 
at flicking the deliveries away on the onside. Schwerbachter providing him with that extra bit of opportunity with his pace. All he had to do was to meet the ball with uh, the wrists and the weight went very quickly for a four. A wonderful start on 16 quickly, Sachin. As anyone who's still having lunch may as well throw their plates and uh, get into their seats. There will be a counter-attack from uh, the Pakistani bowlers, that's for sure. Oh, great timing. That was just a gentle push. And what an over for India. A master class there from Tendulkar. 27 for no loss after two. So the Indians innings off to a rollicking start here 27 for no loss from two Well, there's a plenty more to come as far as India is concerned Very close to the uh, edge Tafi Kumar will hold the ball. Oh direct hit would have certainly got him out Verinder Sevak lost his bat I guess lost his balance a little there was never a run there, but it was I think pushed into it by Sachin Yes, he was watching the ball initially and as a result started off late a direct hit and he was gone It's absolutely no doubt about it. Watch here. He looks at the back And then is late to take off a direct hit and it was bye-bye Sevag Already this Indian innings has had everything boundaries wides a six a chance of a run out the adrenaline is pumping, not only out there in the middle, but in the crowd as well. That's another six. Short, wide, this time it's Sevar with the uppercut. And boy, this ball has gone a long way. You don't see sixes in that direction, but have a look at this. Well, this is incredible hitting. Once again, the width was provided, and uh, although he had his uh, one palm out of that bat, but it sailed away. First delivery of Akayunas. There you see the hands coming off the handle. It didn't matter. Turned away on the onside. This outfield is picking up. A boundary to end the over. 11 runs coming off it after four overs India 39 for no loss oh, Good shot that's a misfield Yunus Khan the fielder that's something Pakistan can ill afford at the start and There's a flurry of boundaries at the moment well, Azar Mahmood has walked up to the bowler to uh, pat on his back. This was a very, very ordinary effort. Not in any control, Yunus Khan, to stop that one. That was once again uh, fiercely struck. So, Pakistani bowlers providing a little bit of width to both uh, Sevag and Sachin. Oh, that's glorious. That's been struck with tremendous power. Before one could say Jack Robinson, the ball was through. It's 50 for no loss. Oh, what a start, and Vaseem Akram really wants uh, that fielder to be uh, in position. He wanted him to play that shot, but it was played uh, with great deal of power and placement to perfection. Once again overstepping, but this time uh, the umpire didn't take uh, notice of that. And a big roar as uh, India raises their 50. It's coming just 4.5 overs. Again, walked away on the onside. It's going to be touch and go. And good running by Sevak. 
pushed Tendulkar there to come back for the third. Clever piece of batting from Sachin Tendulkar. It's uh, well covered our offside field. There's plenty of uh, options there through the on. Mohammad Sami sliding. Good effort. Released the ball nicely. Beautiful wrist play so far from Sachin Tendulkar. He's hit a couple of lovely shots through a square. And then a massive six uh, square on the off. In the air, taken. Wakar Yunus getting the ball pitched up. Sevab going on the drive, hitting it up Ishli. Afridi making no mistake. And Pakistan draw first blood. Because of clever piece of captaincy, I think uh, that fielder was uh, beautifully placed by Wakar Yunus. Sarinda Se Verinda Sevak, very much in mould of Sachin Tendulkar and like him, just a little casual at times in that area. Spot on, Shahid Afridi taking a neat catch. And so India lose their first wicket for 53. Fifty-three for one. Saurav Ganguly, the captain, comes out to the middle. Virinda Seva, the last man dismissed in this fashion. A soft dismissal in the end. There you see that bat turning in his hand straight to Shahid Afridi. He was positioned very nicely. And Pakistan have got to draw some strength from this dismissal. They've got uh, one Indian batsman out. Beautifully positioned there. And Wakar Yunus and company absolutely delighted. <laughs> well, they'll believe now things uh, will quieten up. Otherwise, it was uh, like bowling to a cannon that was bombarding at both ends. Now, three slips in place. Pakistan on the attack. <laughs> That's wrapped on the pads. That is close. He's a big up. That is always going to be out. Caught on the crease. A double break here for Pakistan. And they're right back in it. Fantastic piece of bowling from Wakar Yunus. Now he had positioned an extra slipper. Three slips in place. I think Saurav Ganguly was expecting this ball to leave him. And it came back. It held its line and spot on. Excellent bowling. He had put a doubt in the batsman mind, batsman's mind by having that third slip in place. Wonderful bowling. Straightforward decision and Pakistan will double break. The Indian captain goes back for not in India. 53 for two now. Mohamed Khev comes out on a hat-trick. Two wickets and two balls for the Pakistan captain. The last man to be dismissed, Saurav Ganguly, first ball. And really, if you're on the outskirts of Pretoria or even in Johannesburg, get to the Centurion, this is a happening place. Very good over. Just three runs of it. Two wickets, that's important from Pakistan's point of view. That's 53 for two. That's out. No, it isn't put down. Oh, how Pakistan might live to rue that. Abdul Razak, great effort. But sometimes those have just got to stay in your hand. You could see Wasim Akram telling Abdul Razak he should have been on the circle, the edge of the circle. If he was there, that would right down his throat. He tried to reach for it, and this is a surprise to me. You don't see Tendulkar hitting over the top, especially straight down the wicket in the first 15 overs. Didn't get the middle of the bat, went nowhere. And here's the man. Two overs, two for 14. First ball he bowled, went for six. On the ground, quality stroke, quality stroke, great effort, but it's gone for four. How did a man who's only five foot six or whatever he is hit that through there? But this is one thing that will be in India's favour throughout the innings. They'll get some bonus runs against a better fielding side. Say England, Zimbabwe, the teams that India have played against, that ball would have been dragged back quite comfortably.
but the slide doesn't come naturally to Asian fielders, especially Indians and Pakistanis. Good effort, but couldn't prevent the fall. So drop catches and a few fumbles, a few slow movers in the field will give India the bonus runs that they'll dearly want in this match. Slips out then. Man in the gully. Imzimam's in the gully. Man at short extra cover. Now where's he going to hit it? <laughs> Through mid-wicket. Wonderful hands. And there might be an inquiry there. But they've run four anyway. Great running. You can put the... Put the telephone away, don't need it. Shoaib Akhtar, the man. Wakhar is trying to again keep it full, just close to middle stump. That's when the strong wrist came into play. He's got stuck in his back knee. And I think he may have done it uh, cleanly, but doesn't matter. He ran for, but great effort by a fast bowler. Two skylines in, contrasting starts. Pakistan hadn't lost a wicket till the 10th over. Oh! Oh! Oh, my goodness me. Beautiful. If he just watches uh, follow through after he's played this shot, you can see he's enjoyed this one immensely. Look at that. That's for the photographers there. Great follow through of the bat again. Just watch it go in the direction of the shot. Full face of the bat, meeting the ball. Fifty in thirty seven balls. And he's come back for the second, and he'll get four more. Six will be signaled all along the ground. Well played, and thank you, Sachin Tendulkar, for the entertainment. And that gesture after he got to his 50 just goes to suggest that he's really enjoyed himself. He's got a lot of pleasure. He never does that when he gets to a score of 50. He's got plenty of 50s in one international. But just look at the reaction. He gets two runs and then looks at the overthrow. Four more. <laughs> he's delighted. And then the arms go up. That's uh, how he reacts to 100. Time to say, oh, I'm in a sling. Another exquisite stroke from Tendulka. 88 for two. Beautiful shot from Kaif this time. Shayev trying to go full. Kaif up to it. Kicking the ground, Shoaib Akhtar. Shahid Afridi has walked up to him. Some pep talk given to the fast bowler. Well, the intention was correct. He's trying to keep the ball up. There is a hint of swing coming in. I thought there was a touch of reverse swing on that one. Wakhar Yunus also achieved that, I thought, in the last over. So we are talking about the 11th over. And already see some reverse swing coming into play. But good shot on that occasion been some serious whipping with Pakistan bowling. And it continues. That'll run away for four as well. Only just, but it will. And so it goes on, 98 for two. He's thrashed the Pakistani bowling, Sachin Tanulka. That's a white. That's a good shot as well. Gee, that's a beautiful shot. A little bit leg side from Wakar Yunus, a dispatch for four. Where he could be getting a sore arm. Not the right line to ball at the Indian players. Drifting towards the pads, easy pickings. Excellent timing and the placement. And that's his second boundary. 100 is on the board as well. In no time, just over 11 overs. Oh, excitement, staggering stuff from these Indian batsmen.
How those blocks of 50. First 50 in just 30 balls, second 50 in 39. And again, glorious stroke again. Didn't try and hit it too hard. Over pitch by Waka Yunus, and it goes straight back past him for four. Just under five overs, Waka Yunus has given away 44 runs. And the partnership, 53 runs in no time. Beautiful stroke. The ball was there to be hit. And Mohammad Kaf was in a perfect position. Wasn't looking to hit the ball very hard. Just timed it beautifully, straight past the baller. It's such a nice, simple technique from Mohammad Kaif. Whipped away, good shot, very good shot. Full toss that time from Shah Bakhtar, and that is dispatched with ease. So the run feast continues. We have been treated to our standing batting today. Saad Amwa, 101. He's uh, not on the park. He's uh, gone to hospitals to uh, check out his wrist after he was hit a nasty blow on the same area, by the way, that uh, Shah Bakhtar hit him in the nets, which uh, caused him to miss a game or two. And now it's Tendulkar. That's away. Gee, I don't think it went uh, exactly where Satch a minute to go, but uh, he'll take him. That was a good delivery. Nothing is going into the Pakistani way. And Sachin Tanulka managed an edge. Went past the makeshift wicket keeper to Fikuma. Quickest delivery from Shahid Afridi going through the legs of the wicket keeper. Maybe he meant it. Now, this is a sight that uh, Indian supporters will not want to see. Sachin Tanulka on the ground getting uh, some treatment. Maybe uh, just a little bit of uh, cramp problem, perhaps. It is very warm out there in the middle at. Uh, Super Sport Park at Centurion. It's warm out there and also when you're playing against Pakistan, the pressure is immense. And under pressure you tend to sweat a lot. Well. Straight back past the bowler for four. No ball as well, so that'll be five runs. Great shot again from Tendulka. What a treat this is to watch. There is no stopping. Even if he's limping, still able to hit the ball towards the boundary line. Tremendous stuff. He's getting to the pitch of the ball. After hitting the ball, immediately feeling a bit of pain. High elbow, great balance. Good follow through. It's a beautiful shot that's got past him. And it just might run away from him, it does. Gaining on the fielder. What exquisite timing. Well, it's been uh, there all day today from Sachin Tendulkar. Exquisite timing and great placement. He is absolutely outclassed the opposition today, single handedly. Generated a lot of uh, pace from uh, this shot. There you see that uh, flick helping uh, the ball go very quickly across and uh, that boundary also gets him his 12,000 a one day international run would you believe it incredible average of 44 strike rate of 86 34 hundreds 60 50s 146 for two they're the leading run scorers in history Tendulka 12,003 Mohamed Nearly nine and a half thousand. Aravinda de Silva passed nine thousand the other day. And Zimam is closing in on nine thousand. Let's work that away. Will they go for two? Tendulkar's moving very well at the moment, but they chose his end and quite rightly so. Make him work. That's what Pakistan must do. If he's going to take a single or a two, they must target his end. Well, if you can't get him out, get him injured. Pakistan need to see the back of the little master. 86 not out. Mohammad Kaf, well, he is uh, trudged along really well now. 29 not out. Mohammad Sami firing that one in. Stretching Sachin Tendulkar. Yeah, yeah. No, very late. Wasim Akram took a lot of time really to uh, regain his ground. He was down. Maybe a quicker release would have done the job. Well, David Shepard's called for it. 
And I think he's in quite safely. Nobody's very excited. Yeah, there's the bat already in. But I think one of the reasons David Shepard might have called for that, and I think, it, if I'm right, is very clever. Sometimes when people are diving in, when they land, the bat lifts off the ground, which I have a problem with as a matter of interest. I reckon once you've got in, you're in. But anyway, that's not the law. And maybe Shepard thought, hang on, he dived in there. I'd better have a look in case his bat bounced off the ground. Shrewd devil from Bristol. Shepard, 62 years of age, plenty of experience as far as one day international are concerned. Well, he has uh, split his finger there and uh, quite badly. He's bleeding quite badly. Back at him, it's just a fairly ordinary looking incident, wasn't it? Just looking to collect the ball. He's not reacted yet, he's walking back. It's extraordinary, he didn't react straight away which is uh, good, it, it, it indicates that he's not in pain because normally speaking you'd start wringing your hands if it hurt so he doesn't even know he's bleeding at, at the stage that he starts to walk back then he maybe just noticed, hang on, I'm bleeding here hasn't gone in cleanly, hit him on the end of the finger but it is his bowling hand and uh, if you haven't got good feeling in your index finger with which you hold the ball, you've got a problem 273 it's always going to be a competitive score unless you bowl long ups like that and get it for four. Well, a real half tracker put away by Mohammed Kaif with a lot of ease and uh, they're punching the gloves. They know that they're on a course here for a memorable win. They had plenty of time now. Shahid Afridi can lack from uh, consistency. So generally been good, but that boundary also getting uh, India their third wicket, 100 run partnership. Yes! Bowled him out, inside edge, I think, but the breakthrough Pakistan needed now. Can they capitalise on that? Wacker Yunus calling the men in. As Mohamed Kaif makes his way to the pavilion. Well, this is a huge bonus. Shahid Afridi had just flighted the ball, hoping that the batsman would miss it, and exactly that is what Mohammad Kaif has done. Pretty innocuous delivery, bringing it back and hitting the stumps, and, uh, well, major breakthrough now. Can Pakistan capitalise on this? Gone after playing a good knock of 35, India 155 for three. Rahul Dravid replaces Mohammad Kaif. Played over 200 matches, 6,000 runs, wonderful record, averaging nearly 40. This one is out there, just a wide. I thought it was might have been a googly, but it wasn't. It was a leg spinner. He's played just outside it, got the inside edge and dragged it back onto his stumps. How significant might that be? Get Players have catch it and it's gone through the hand of uh, Shahid Afridi in the air for some time. He had to dart across to his right and couldn't snaffle it. Didn't get any early warning, Shahid Afridi, that the ball was coming back to him. In fact, the keeper shouted, catch him. That's perhaps when he realised it's coming to him a little late. May have got his fingertips to that one. Toss put away, chases on for the man at uh, long on. Shah Bakhtar it is, who's uh, had a very, very ordinary day so far. I just wonder if... Uh, oh, it might be another one here. Yes, there is. Gee, that's uh, a little bit sloppy. Afridi not uh, gathering the return, and they have started to scramble another one. There's already been four overthrows by the Pakistani fielders. Been uh, a testing day for the Pakistanis. Throws it back, and the Indians were in a bit of a doubt whether to run for it. It wasn't a dead ball, so the run was valid. It's a good shot, it's a great shot. It's picked the gap through extra cover for four. Stand and deliver. The 
exploits the gap to the fullest, Tendulkar. It wasn't a big one, mid-off and extra cover just watching. Because it was right in the centre of those two fielders, Afri, they're looking at Wakhar Yunus, or rather Yusuf Johanna, who's at mid-off, and Johanna doing likewise. Beautiful balance, looking to get onto the front foot, seeing the ball shot, just going on with the shot, weight forward. Now driver just uh, tucks one to mid-wicket for a single. Tandorka has uh, got a runner now. Verinda Sowag uh, is the runner. Now here's a look at uh, the last ball that uh, Tendulkar had to sprint through. This was just before the drinks break. He had to get the long strides out and just have a look at his face. It certainly tells a story. He's been carrying this injury for some time and that hurts. He's definitely damaged it further, hence the runner now. And only appropriate that you have the clone, Virinda Sewag, running for him. He's on 98. 98 not out, Tendulka. Short ball, quick ball, might be out, is out. Shah Bakhtar has come back into the attack. The first ball that Tendulka has faced when he's got a runner, he's been dismissed. Shah Bakhtar, that was a very, very quick delivery, just under 150 k's per hour, took him by surprise, and he's on his way back. What, the, what an end, what a dramatic end to a magnificent knock from Sachin Tendulka. And this spells danger for India. Look at the Pakistanis, they're all charged up. They have this reputation of coming back into the match. This is a great delivery. The break may have just uh, disrupted the concentration of the man. Not 100% fit as well. Shoaib Akhtar comes back after conceding 18 in the first over. Gets an opportunity to come back and he's done well. So Tendulkar hobbles away. One of the greater innings that you'll see in one day cricket. 98 of 75 balls. And India 177 for four. Shah Bhakta bang on target with his first delivery to Yuvraj Singh, who's new to the wicket. 65 matches he's now played with Yuvraj, but uh, what an important wicket that was of uh, Sachin Tendulkar. Almost unplayable, steep bounce, well directed. Tendulkar in one-day cricket doesn't look to duck into bounces, looks to play at it. And also good support from the fielder, Yunus Khan at point. Desperate lunge, forward to the ball, taking his eyes off, unplayable. Great delivery. Shah Bhakta, we know, is a handful once he gets it right, and that is absolutely bang on target. Mrs. Tendulkar for a superb 98. And Shah Bhakta now to Yuvraj Singh is going around the wicket at pace. That's what played. That's a very, very good shot. That's not a bad way to get off the mark. Four runs to get things going for Yuvraj Singh. Seven runs off the over, but the important wicket of Sachin Tendulkar. 181 for four. Shah Bhakta has found his rhythm. That was once again a very quick delivery. No chance for the makeshift wicket keeper to stop that one. And wide as well. Well, he's bending his back, there's no doubt about it. And that ball will whistle past the keeper. I think the, the tactic should be they have to attack. That's driven handsomely through the offside. Yuvraj doesn't bother to run. And that's a trademark cover drive from the left-hander. The ball was in the slot. On that occasion, finding the middle of the bat, and the placement was superb. Yes, and I think the, the thinking was right behind that delivery. I think Wakar Yunus shouldn't mind it. That's his best chance of picking up a wicket. What he might just want to do is uh, get it a little wider, draw the left hand uh, further across. Well, that came right out of the screws. Wasn't a great footwork, but hand and eye coordination was superb. And he's a good striker of the ball, Yuvraj. The 200 comes up for India with that single. It's 
in the air, he gets some bat on it, and this will race away to the boundary. And that's a poor delivery from Shahid Afridi. And Yuvraj Singh has done well to get some bat on it. It's just a matter of getting the bat on the ball. It was a wayward delivery. Shahid Afridi trying an off-spinner. Ill-directed delivery, and he's been penalised. It was required to ball some tight overs. Thank you, Ravi. As we see that one uh, go away to the boundary, so uh, Indians now moving uh, very, very nicely. Beautiful shot. Nice drive. Well, he's a sweet timer of the ball, Yorad Singh. And he'll enjoy this from Shahid Afridi. Well, Afridi is very unhappy with the fielder. I think it's in Zamamul Haq who has come right up there to save the single. So he had no chance when it was hit hard just to the right of his Zamam. And this is his favorite shot. To the left, I should be saying. Once again, nicely struck. Now the fielder was up in the circle that cover fields men. Shoaib has got a long chase and then he returns, but not before. Batsmen have completed three. Once again, uh, beautiful timing. Well, again, a good shot, Yubra Singh. Just uh, trying to accentuate the point I was making. Saeed Anwar played well for 101. Taufik Umar looked in good touch, but then the Indians came back through Nehra picking up Abdul Razak, then a gift of Inzamam with the run-out. Then Yohana was caught in the deep by Zahir Khan of Srinath. But the wicket that uh, Ashish Nehra got of Abdul Razak was when he came back and bowled the first ball of the spell. So the ability to come back when things have not really gone well is the strength of this team. And again, when you look at the batting, if you monitor the progress of the Indian team, say, in the last three, four years, there's been a huge reliance of Tendulkar on Tendulkar, and when he failed, Indians could never recover from that loss. But over the last one year, they've been able to do that. Again today, Tendulkar fell at an important stage, and Yuvraj Singh and Dravid have managed to keep the game going, keep the momentum going, and now India look in a comfortable position to wrap up this game. Having said that, Let's wait till the match is actually won. This is again a good positive blow on the leg side. Couple of runs to drop it. The good work continues. 12 overs to go. 233 for four. And India need 27 more runs to win with six wickets in hand. Shah Bhattar has got the ball in his hand. He's about to complete his 10th, or start rather, his 10th and final over. That is a fine strike. Just eased it through the covers for four. Very, very well played. And the flags are flying all over the show. And also the boundaries. Exquisite timing on that occasion from Yovrat Singh. Wasn't a half volley, but using the pace of the ball beautifully. Hitting the ball into the gap. Perfect way to execute. And off drive. High back lift. Meeting the ball close to the pad, and that's his fifth boundary. He has played well. Indian captain Sarab Ganguly will be very disappointed looking at that scorecard, looking at his own uh, contribution. He got a first ball up LBW to Wakar Yunus, but he will be absolutely ecstatic with the performance of his teammates. It really is a great effort chasing down this sort of total. Wakar Yunus, who's picked up two wickets, and has decided to bring himself in in the attack from the Henops River end. Two for 61, so also expensive. Of his uh, eight overs. And he was certainly pumped up early today, man, when he picked up those first two wickets. He said that point, Vakar Yunus was able to bring the Pakistani team back into the game. That's a beautiful stroke. 
Only four runs required now to win this game. And he's only one run away from his 50, Yuvraj Singh. He has played beautifully. He has indeed, and that takes him to 49, goes uh, past Inzamar Muhaku. I must say, didn't uh, give too much of an effort to stop that in the covers. He's obviously not too aware that uh, they've got to uh, prolong this uh, win as long as possible to help that net run rate. Not that it's going to be any major difference. Four needed, just one shot needed now for India. 49, Yuvraj Singh is on. And he has only consumed 52 deliveries to get there. Yuvraj Singh. Excellent strike rate. Still looking uh, pretty tense in the dugout. They'll be leaping to their feet very soon, that's for sure. This is such a big game, such an important victory, this one for India. Maintaining that proud record in the World Cup. And, of course, helping their chances enormously in this World Cup. That'll be called a wide. A bit of tightness now creeping in to uh, Baka Yunus and also maybe Rudy Kutsen. He's done a bit of exercise today, Rudy. Well, they have used their arms quite a lot, these umpires. So many boundaries they've been hit in this game. 28 fours and three sixes. Both these very experienced umpires have uh, had a very, very good day, good game. Rudy Kutzen and uh, David Shepard. There's the 50. Single to bring up his 50. Yuvraj Singh can be very, very proud of this knock. And the smile suggested that. This partnership was very important for these uh, Indians. Having lost Sachin Tendulkar, the Pakistani thought they are back into the game, but this effort has taken the game away from the Pakistan team. Two more required now. Rahul Dravid on strike. He's on 40. The partnership's worth 95. Short ball. Has he put it away? Yes, he has. That's it. India have done it. A boundary to finish things. The crowd here at Supersport Park, Centurion, are going absolutely berserk. What a terrific performance by India. Rahul Dravid, a very sensible knock from him. Sarah Ganguly is getting all the accolades off the field. And interaction from the players, Pakistanis, big smiles and shaking the hands of Rahul Dravid and Yuvraj Singh. The end of what has been a classic encounter. It's been a terrific game of cricket. And India win by six wickets. Tremendous stuff from the Indian batsmen. Never easy to chase 273 runs. And they have done it in just 46 overs. Plenty of boundaries. Sachin Tendulkar was the leader. He was the hero of the game took the attack to the Pakistani bowlers and took the game away. And in the end, it was an easy job for Yovraj Singh and Dravid. And they featured in a partnership of 99 runs of just over 100 deliveries. Disappointment, of course, for Pakistan. I'll uh, have an opportunity to have a bit of a chat and regroup. There's Sarah Ganguly coming out to shake the hand of uh, Pakistan skipper Waka Yunus. They exchanged ties earlier today, which was... Uh, a gesture of uh, goodwill and the celebration started in the change room. All the Indian players now coming down. There's the star of the show today, Sachin Tendulkar. One of the best knocks you could ever wish to see from Sachin. And Dravid and uh, Yuvraj Singh finishing proceedings for India. And the Indians, they have surely qualified for the Super Sixes. Look at the jubilation in the Indian dressing room. Shake of hands between the Pakistanis and the Indians. And the Indian crowd is ecstatic. They'll be very happy. India will now definitely finish second in their group. Australia, of course, will finish top. And if they do happen to lose to England, India will definitely finish second. So they have qualified. Pakistan have uh, basically 
got themselves out of this World Cup, although there is a small chance for them to get back in. They're going to rely on a couple of results going their way, of course. But uh, those flags are going to be flying. The celebrations are going to be going on for some time here in Centurion. And what a lovely day. What an amazing day for Sachin Tendulkar. Got to his uh, 50. In very smart time today, did Sachin. 50. Came up in 37 balls. And just 75 balls for that, 98. Outstanding performance for him, including 13 fours and a couple of sixes. Brenda Sawag was also pretty brisk at the start, 21 off 14. Sarav Ganguly got a first ball up from Waka Yunus. Albert Kaif also did the job. He uh, played the sheet anchor role for Tendulkar. 35 off 60 balls, and uh, they shared a valuable partnership, those two, of 102 in 98 deliveries. And then Rahul Dravid and Yuvraj Singh, their partnership was 99 in 109 balls so a good performance on them 276 for four and they chase that total down and then the pakistani bowlers they were made to work very hard they were thrashed around the park wasim akram was economical wakayu has picked up two shweb Akhtar chipping in one along with shahid afridi So if we look back at the match summary, Pakistan won the toss, elected to bat here. And 50 overs they amassed. It was a good total, 273 for seven. Said Amwar was outstanding with his century. Support by Yunus Khan and also Rashid Latif. And Zahir Khan picked up a couple, as did Ashish Nira. And Monga did a job as well as a part-timer. Indian reply, 45 overs and four balls, 276 for four. Tendulkar magnificent. Yuvraj Singh also terrific. And Dravid uh, did a job, 44 not out. And from a Pakistan point of view, Waka was the chief wicket taker. He was expensive though, and Afridian Shahab also picked up one apiece. Shahab also expensive. So India won here by six wickets. Waka, bad luck. But it's not over yet. Bismillah rahman rahim Of course it's not over yet, but um, full credit to the Indians. I thought they played extremely well, especially Sachin Tendulkar. Uh, I mean, start, the way they started off, they took the game away from us. Just looking at the pitch, did you feel that you had a competitive score? I mean, 275 without bowling attack, I thought it was a good total. But, uh, I mean, they played extremely well, uh, although we bowled badly at occasions. But apart from, apart from Sachin, the, the backup batting was very good. I thought they played very sensibly. Yeah, I mean, once they gave us uh, this sort of a start, like 110 in, in 12 overs, uh, it was just a matter of uh, getting singles, and, and that's what Yovaraj and uh, uh, Dravid did. Great innings from Saeed, Amar. Oh, of course, Saeed played really well. That's a pleasing side. Uh, let's see what happened tomorrow, and then we'll start off from there. Yeah, you've still got a game to go, and you can still qualify. Good luck. Thanks very much. The captain of Pakistan, Waka Yunus, and now please, the captain of India, the winning team today, Saraf Ganguly. He must be a very, very happy man. Oh, it's absolutely, it's been, it's been fantastic for us. Uh, it was a big game, big game for us here, big game for all those people who've come to watch and probably 100 crore people, 100 crore people back home. And uh, a, win, a win here has given smiles to everybody. Schools were closed, uh, offices were closed for this big game. And the way we've played, you know, it's made the whole country proud. I believe it's a public holiday back home for today's game. Yeah, it is. It is in some places. And, uh, and, and it's great that uh, we've given them both for everything. 273, when you walked off the field, you, none of you looked uh, really happy because Pakistan got some good runs at the end there. But did you always feel that you could get that total? Yeah, the way we batted over the last one year, we always felt that uh, on a good wicket, any, any total is chaseable. But uh, obviously, they, are, they have a very good bowling attack. Uh, but the way we batted, it's been superb. The, the start Sachin and Viru gave, and the way Sachin played, and obviously, Yuvraj and Dravid, it's been outstanding. I've never seen better innings for a long, long time. Me neither. Well done, well played. Good luck in the Super Sixes. Thank you. Saraf Ganguly, the Indian captain. Now, Mike Proctor's job today, not only as a match referee, was all, also to pick the man of the match. There were obviously a couple of contenders, Syed Anwar being one of them, but the man that he's gone for, and I don't think many will disagree, if any, the little master, Sachin Tendulkar. 98. In 75 balls, set it up for India, he receives a gold watch. 
which is uh, donated by the gold mining industry of South Africa. Sachin, thank you for entertaining us today. Yeah, this has always been a special game for us, and uh, it's the fourth World Cup. We've beaten them in a row, and uh, you know, nothing means more than this to us. I think, I think we're very excited about the victory, and I'd like to congratulate all the team. I was saying earlier to, to uh, Wacker that the, the, even after you got out, the batsmen that came in, Dravid and Kaila, I thought they played very sensible cricket. Yeah, especially I would like to congratulate Yuvraj because he has done, he's done well so many times uh, during the pressure situations. And obviously Rahul Dravid, as solid as ever. Tremendous. Tell me a little bit about your innings and the pitch. You enjoyed the pitch? Yeah, the ball was coming on quite nicely and I was picking the line and length quite early. So I thought, uh, you know, why not go and play some aggressive cricket? And you were aggressive. How's the leg? Leg is alright, I was cramping badly and uh, then it got worse. Uh, well, I'm, I should be alright for the next game. Thank you for entertaining everyone in this ground and everyone around the world with a wonderful inning. Thanks, I'd like to thank all the people for supporting us. Thanks so much. Man of the match, Sachin Tendulkar. Fantastic support here for India. Wonderful cricket. Good night. Now there's a look back at the match summary. Pakistan winning the toss and elected about 273 for seven they got. Said Amwar was the star of the show, 101 for Pakistan. And uh, Zahir Khan picked up a couple, as did Ashes Nira. India in reply. They did it easy. They coasted in the end. 276 for four. Tendulkar outstanding with his 98 off 75 deliveries. And you've read Singh and Drav providing support as well. And all the Pakistan bowlers really got the treatment. So India won by six wickets. A comprehensive victory. We have had action galore here at Subiswal Park at Centurion. I am convinced that you've enjoyed the coverage. It has been a day that cricket will remember, that's for sure. India have won and they'll be celebrating tonight. Until next time, bye for now.